Hi guys, I am Nutrix the Sim Guy and today the question is what is a paraphonic analog synthesizer? Paraphonic? What is that? To be able to understand what paraphonic synthesizer mean, we need to understand what monophonic, duophonic and polyphonic means. Now, monophonic is something we see in stuff like this synthesizer here. Novation Base Station 2, that's my personal synth. It's a monophonic synth. All of these knobs, all of these circuits, the whole thing here plays one note, one voice. The whole circuit exists to play one note, one voice, one timbre at a time. Monophonic, phonic being the sound, one sound you can play with this. If you play two notes, there's going to be something we call voice stealing. Which note's going to stop? Is it the last one that has priority? It is the lowest one that has priority. Is, is it the highest one that has priority? It is the oldest note that has priority. So the question would be, it depends on the company. Some companies hardwire which one has priority to play, and others will be something you can actually select. Is it low note or high note? This is often what we see in monophonic synthesizers. You have a choice of low note priority or high note priority. If this would come up as a polyphonic synthesizer, something like this thing here, where you can actually have eight voice polyphonic synthesizer, that it can play eight voices. It means that what you see here is three oscillators, uh, a filter, uh, distortion, delay, all of this exist eight times. Every time you press a key, you trigger this whole thing for each key you press. So this is polyphonic synthesizer, it means in this case up to eight voices. So then again, you've got the notion of note stealing is basically when you play eight notes and then you play a ninth note, which note will actually stop? Which one of the nine being triggered or asked now will be the one you hear. It all depends. And that's what people sometimes say, it's note stealing, it's bad. Well, it's not bad, it's just, at one point the device has to pick a choice, you know. Is it the last eight notes that plays or is it the one that is still playing? Is it the oldest notes, is it the lowest note, is it the highest note? This is a question of which one's gonna be playing. But that's, in this case, you've got eight times this in the brain of the machine, you know. So. Every time you press a key, you have all of this system being triggered. They're basically the same circuit over and over again eight times. So you hear eight times the same sound, but on a different pitch for the eight, eight different notes. So that's polyphonic. Now you get into this thing here, paraphonic. Now paraphonic is really weird. It's fun. Some used to call them duophonic. Well, duophonic, to be honest, if it would be really a pure duophonic synth, it would be something like this that plays two notes. So you would have this circuit twice. You don't see it, but every time you, you play a key, you would be triggering two different notes of the same sound. In the case of a paraphonic synth, that's not what you have. In the case of a paraphonic synth, what you have is two oscillators, one mixer, one filter, one envelope for the amplifier. So you've got a, basically a monophonic synth, but, and that's really cool, each of the oscillators have a separate pitch control, meaning you can play them separately. So it's like having a monophonic synth, but you could send the sequencer to play the two oscillators separately, but they will both play the same filter and they will both play the same envelope and they will both go through the same amplitude. So it's a one synth, but with a separate control over the pitch of the two oscillators. So it's either a very highly controllable monophonic synth or a cheap duophonic synth. That's what it is, you know? So it's a pretty cool concept. And in the case of the circuit mono station, by doing so, it means that you have a very simple monophonic scent, which is very, it sounds really good, but you can control these two oscillators separately. So you can have a bass line and a lead with one scent. That's pretty cool. Um, so that's what paraphonic 
mean? You actually have one scent, one, one voice, but with separate pitch control over the oscillators. It's a cool little subcategory of uh, monophonic synthesizers, but it's not a duophonic because you don't have two envelopes, you don't have two filters, and you don't have two complete circuit for playing the sound. Well, that's it. Today is what is a paraphonic. Now you know. Next time, I think I'm going to just play this thing and show you how it sounds. It is really cool. That's it, guys. If you like what I'm doing, thumb up. If you've got any question, write it in the comments and uh, follow me online. Cheers. Thank you.